All right, so what's up, y'all? Um, I do realize that this uh, camera is not the best. I'm using my laptop camera, which I hate to use, but my cell phone and the short in my car in my cord is pissing me off. So instead of not getting the reading done, I'm gonna just do it on this camera, and you know, we'll do better lighting and all when the phone gets its shit together. So I did want to go ahead and. Um, get these readings going for us though. So let's pull this in a little bit because I want to make sure y'all can see these cards and whatnot, okay? So we're going to do Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Reading. Um, again, I'm going to say this one more time and then I'm not saying it again through the video. This is my laptop computer, not my phone phone. So uh, the view of it is looking different. So it depends on what you come in here for. Is you coming for the aesthetics or is you coming for the, you know, healing right now. So if you don't know me, I'm Ashes, the rebirth, our paths have crossed because there's some form of renewing, rediscovering who you are in your divine authentic self. So welcome. Um, if you're true to this, right, then welcome back. Thank you for sticking it out. Gratitude to yourself for continuing to be diligent along your healing journey. Yeah. So let's get going, y'all. Let's get into it. What is the message from divine feminine to divine masculine? Or what is the message from Divine Feminine to herself, yeah? I don't know if y'all follow me on Facebook, but you should. Because we don't have enough in the community here to go live. So I go live on Facebook. Facebook is kind of how, you know, I got started or, you know, the community that was built a little easier. Last night, the reason I'm mentioning that is so y'all can go ahead and go over to Facebook so you can go live, be privy to webinars and different workshops and things of that nature. Now, when I go live on Facebook, last night we went live. Yeah, we did a collective on live last night and then I did a couple personal reads right on the spot. The intuition and downloads card is the same card that came out last night, speaking to the divine feminine. We were doing a live divine feminine, divine masculine reading. All right, spirit. So we got intuition and downloads cards uh, and download card. What what are any more messages? OK, that you have for divine feminine. <laughs> Courage and bravery. Let me tell you, all last night when we were doing that live divine masculine, divine feminine reading. There were a lot of those personal readings that were giving me this feeling up in my throat chakra. And I'm feeling that same way today. So I know this is divine feminine, too. The divine masculine or divine feminine really a message in twofold a message of this cut chords kept coming out last night from for a reading um even for myself and it just seemed like it had like a nasty element to it like it wasn't a cut chords where it was like, you know, cut chords for, for a good purpose. It seemed like it was something that was trying to come in to deter you, like to cut chords with someone uh, that is for the good of somebody else, but it's not for your good, but they're going to try to interpret it to you as if it's for your good. You know, and I don't, I don't do too many like the whole karmic thing, because I think we're mistaken what that really is, what that cycle is about and how spirit uses it to teach a lesson, not necessarily to destroy anyone. And last night, this card kept coming out like. But it was coming out in a real deceptive way right now today, I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm at the top of my day or if the energy is just set up differently, because last night it had a real conniving kind of feel and today it still has that feeling of cutting a cord but it doesn't seem as conniving but until spirit make me feel some kind of other way this card for me now symbolizes you know like somebody coming in to tell you that it would be a good idea for you to cut the cords but it's really not it's like it's gonna cut your own wing off so to speak your own desire. It's like cutting it. Do you see how this is going right into the heart chakra? It's like if you if you cut the cord, it wouldn't make sense to say cut the cord on some things you don't need. But this feels more so to me like conniving, like somebody's trying to convince you to cut cords with somebody that you don't need to cut cords with because it's going to affect your heart in such a way. It's 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 the conniving nature of the person who's speaking into your ear gate, trying to get you to cut cords with a certain somebody. 
There's a level of courage and bravery it's going to take from you to mount up and, and take what you need to take to say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cut no cords here. You know, that's where I want to be. That's who I want to be with. That's the business I want to be into. Like, this is the lifestyle that I want to take. You know what I mean? And it's a level of bravery that it's going to take from you because I can feel that's coming from a divine feminine energy. And I don't know why I feel like that could be some masculine energy too. I feel like this could be feminine energy um, that's, that's trying to heal some of the masculine inside of her. But I also feel like there could be some actual men that this message is for. This is the divine timing card. I hear spirits say all things within great divine timing, like this cord cutting process, the, in, the in, intuition and downloads that spirit is given to you. Cause don't forget that's the first card, the spirit and intuition that spirit is given to you. It's going to help you to connect with that bravery and that courage that you're needing to muster up for whoever is trying to pressure you into cutting these cords. You're very clear and aware of what cords need to be cut. You don't need nobody to come in and tell you what cords to cut. Because whoever's coming in to tell you about cutting some cords, you know, they're coming in in a, in a moment that really is in some divine timing, some things coming into you. And, and some of the people that are around you, it's going to be sad, but it's them you need to be cutting the cords with because some of them are very, very, um, I feel like. I feel like the word in my vocabulary would be jealousy, but I feel like I hear spirit saying something totally different. OK, um, I hear I can hear and feel spirit saying something totally different. So we got take a step back and we got opportunity and change. Take a step back, opportunity and change what I tell you. all So whatever that intuition and the downloads that spirit is given to you. OK, it's giving you the courage and the bravery you need. Somebody's trying to get you to cut cords, but it's a divine time. And in this moment, you got to step back and look at some things because perspective, when you're stepping back, you get to see it holistically now so that you can really witness the opportunities and the changes that are coming in. Be prepared for them with your intuition and the download spirit has given you because that's offering you the opportunity to muster up all the strength that you're going to need for this new endeavor, these opportunities and change, because somebody's coming in in a real divine kind of, you know, you know, strategic timing, trying to throw you off because divine timing says you're ready to reap a, a grand harvest. Somebody trying to cut you off from what you're, what you're deserving of. Somebody need to take a step back and recognize that these opportunities and changes that are coming in, somebody trying to chop down. And they're not even trying to chop down on their own. They're trying to get you to, to make the decision so that when shit goes topsy-turvy and you realize that you shouldn't have cut those cords, you're going to be upset with yourself, not them. You see, they're very strategic about what it is that they're doing. That's why Spirit is saying the word jealousy seems a little bit too callous for the situation. It, it's like something deeper. Because when you have somebody who's very strategic about coming in, and, and mismatching things, right? And putting things all over the place. You, you, you have, a, you have a, a larger problem than what you may think. You see what I'm saying? Let's concentrate a little bit on this opportunity and change. Can we get a little more information about this opportunity and change? What is it that's coming in? Let's get my heavy hitters. What's coming in for the divine feminine when it comes to this intuition and download, the opportunity and change? Let's go there. The intuition and downloads that you're giving to the divine feminine, and then we'll go into the opportunity and change. There's too many cards coming out, just being thrown everywhere. Okay. All right. No need to be anxious. No need to be anxious. Spirit is saying like, this is, you know, it's, it's a reading of getting yourself prepared. It's not a reading of warning. It's, it's, you know what I mean? That sometimes that throws people off. It's, it's more so a reading of, um, we're talking about intuition and download. Spirit is wanting you to know there's guardian angel. And at the same time, there's blessings coming in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying we're clarifying intuition and download. All right. And we've got the blessings card. We've got the guardian angel card. <laughs> and right behind that, we got the body card and spiritual growth. So and, and manifestation right after that. Okay. And maintaining some balance. So let's see what's, what's all this about here. 
Spirit is wanting you to know there's a guardian angel here, right? The intuition and downloads is what we're using these cards to clarify. So when it comes to your intuition and your downloads that Spirit has given to you, first of all, because things are going on, you have guardian angel here. Please speak to them when you're waking in the morning, right? Throughout your day, give them, you know, the ability to govern, right? Give them the ability to, to come in and actually protect and do what it is that you're feeling like you know, you need that you can't do within your own power. Yeah. But you got to give them charge. You know what I mean? You, you got to tell them they showed up for work, but you got to delegate what you need them to do. Okay. We have this idea that like angel things we can't see source, God, all these things are like so magical and, and, and powerful that, that we don't need to tell them you still have free will. So yeah, your spirit team is there, but you got to communicate with them just like you would in any other situation. Yeah. Don't take the accountability for your own journey off and, and tie it into spirit. And because spirit didn't, well, I, I what was I supposed to do? Like there's things for you to do and there's things for spirit to do. Do we understand that in the healing journey? OK, so guardian angel be here, but you got to lift up your head and see that it's there. <laughs> Upset and crying, got all the blessings and everything right there behind you. And then even so. The blessing cards come comes right out with it. Like you can't tell, I'm dousing it on top of you. I'm right behind you. What, what else you need me to do? I'm giving you the intuition and the download that you need. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Your bravery and your courage comes from knowing that from on high, you are divinely guarded. Okay, can we get some clarity? Well, we did have the body care card and the spiritual growth as well. So those intuition and downloads coming in, talking about taking a step back of that courage and bravery. Okay, some of those things are about you and your own self, your body, your mind, your care that you're taking for yourself. You have to be full in your own vessel and well in your own vessel and in yourself before we out here trying to be for someone else. Yeah. Opportunity and change. If we get a little bit more clarity on the opportunity and change card. Some of you in these relationships that you're going to be getting into their divine encounters and they're going to assist in the healing. Now, mind you, when I say you should be whole before you venture into business opportunities or relationships. Yes, that's 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 the standard that that's foundational work. Basic. OK, but there are some some of you who will be in a space of uh, I'll see how that light just decided to just like, let me brighten. Let me get elevated. Cause right after that body care card was that spiritual growth card. Okay. Getting enlightened, heightened. Um, some of you are going to be linked with certain people that are your divine counterparts because you are whole. Yes. You're, you're putting in the diligent work to be healed. Yes. But the healing journey doesn't end while we're in this human suit, right? So it's not a matter of being perfect. It's a matter of being whole enough in a place where spirit can say, hey, 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 now you can receive the gift of another individual. Now you can receive the gift of a business opportunity. Now you can, you know, you can take on more clientele, right? For whatever your business is. You know what I mean? Some of you are pairing together with your divine counterpart because you've done enough work on your own. And spirit says, it's not good for man to be alone. It's not good for woman to be alone. Yeah. Let me get them paired up because there's going to be some inner child healing that happens there too. You've done work on your own, but spirit will also allow you to complete your healing journey, you know, and carry it out with someone else where you're able to merge now with another. And it's going to bring in some inner child healing for some of you. Okay. There, and right behind that is healing energy. I, I wish y'all would go back and look at the Facebook because you'll see that like my re like I don't be playing around. The healing energy. This came out and not even just the collective. This came out in one of the ladies individual readings. Because sometimes when we're in a community and we're in that space with the women who showed up last night for the Facebook reading, even their personal readings could tie to somebody else's reading because we're on one accord. It's It's the women showing up in the room right after that. Is holy love. The holy love heals, but you're just going to experience it in the spiritual sense, but you're also going to be able to experience it in your natural life. I told y'all, I could feel the essence of the divine masculine coming towards me. 
it's not even a matter of, honey, do you think you still want it? Do you not? It's like became clear with everything with spirit. Clear vessel for spirit to come seep through and know what's going on and keeping that open, not keeping my thoughts off or keeping parts of my heart away. No, I'm intimate with myself. I'm intimate with spirit. And that allows the frequency of this holy love where the healing energy, right? And the healing, the inner child wounds can, can, can come together now under this one union. Isn't that what commitment, marriage, that covenant is all about? Yeah. Holy love. And after that is honesty and compassion. I mean, honesty and communication, compassion right over the, right after that. Keeping your composure, right? Why are you keeping your composure? Because you are supposed to be expecting the miracles. They are to come to you. You should be in a space of joy and contentment. These are cards that came out last night. Strength and guidance. Power and intuition was for every single woman that came out last night in the collective reading. And after that, a post shuffle brought out the self-acceptance, okay? Raising your higher vibration. These are things that literally came out, all things align, mother, father, son. And the first card we had last night that came out in the live was friendship and union because spirit was saying, yeah, we're not going to separate them. We're going to keep these together. It's balanced inside yourself. And then for opportunities and the masculine to actually come in with the feminine. And we're not keeping that, even that smallest of a gap in between us. We're closing it. <laughs> we're closing it. Opportunity and change. Your life is changing, honey. The things that you've been desiring and calling in that you thought were like, you know, done or maybe a ways away. And so you just accepting the contentment of where you are right now in spirit, spirit saying, yeah, you, you a good vessel. Yeah, you, you, you've been you've been a good student. I'm getting ready to show you how to be student and teacher at the same time. You you want to you want to work in your spirit and, and work that avatar down there. Okay, let me show you how you can do the best of both worlds. Yeah. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is in my head with that best of both worlds. Wasn't that the theme song on her song? You get the best of both worlds. Yeah, that was her. Uh huh. Miley Cyrus in the building. <laughs> Try to creep through through the back. <laughs> Come on, front and center. <laughs> Come on, front and center with it then. Where, where the bravery and the courage? You get the best of both worlds, sis. You get to live in the spirit and the natural. So it is the natural, it is the spirit. So within, so without, without, within. <laughs> okay? Spirit said we in that reflectory type energy, okay? Trust the universe. This is a sacred plan. I'm literally just picking them up from the bottom of the deck, okay? <laughs> a sacred plan. Somebody trying to put a no inside the sacred plan, right? Don't forget this little conniving ass trying to talk about cut the cords and shit. Now, nah, you a learning experience, all right? I've already learned to surrender to this shit. I'm on a spiritual growth again. I'm on my spiritual growth journey here. I've already learned how to do my body care, carrying my light, right? My learning experiences. You're not pulling me back into nothing. I'm living this life with ease and grace. I'm manifesting shit like it's nothing. Last night, vulnerability and freedom came through. Like, how many more do we need to go through? Do we need to clarify anything else? I don't think so. 18, 18 on the clock. Why? Because numbers mean something. Do you understand 18, 18 on the clock is still 9, 9, 9, 9 is still 18? This is an eternal thing, okay? Ain't nobody just calling out no numbers and shit. Do y'all understand that? Do you get that for real? Can't make this, can't make this up at all, right? Why, why can't you? Because spirit is spirit and it's truth. I know many that do this, but I know a few that's true to this. You gotta be able to mount up your own courage and your own bravery to take a step back from some things. See what's in divine timing and what ain't. And honey, those things that you desire are coming to be. You go on, go on, let them be. Spirit talked to us last night about not being afraid of that thing. There's signs and reminders here. Remember, divine masculine came and told us that a while ago. Divine masculine trying to come up in our read. <laughs> Talking about take charge and take action. That's masculine energy, y'all. This kept coming up for me personally last night. Listen deeply to the depths of his soul the depths of his heart okay and so i'm like okay because i believe not this deck but in another deck there was a card that was like a listening type card and divine masculine if y'all go back a couple weeks maybe even a month 
ago spirit came and divine masculine had a message to divine feminine this is when divine feminine y'all who follow when i was laughing about divine feminine because we weren't saying much <laughs> even in our readings divine feminine to divine masculine it was like where you at <laughs> okay somebody's just waking up uh but you know spirit is you know divine masculine and spirit were saying signs signs i always show you because this divine feminine gonna need to see them you know but it was also like, you know, Divine Masculine was in that hangman kind of energy, too. We at 20 now, y'all, so we get ready to go. I just wanted to clarify that. And, like, we were running through the deck, and I was literally just boom, boom, boom. Once we had set out the actual, you know, spread, and all these cards were speaking in alignment to what's going on. It's an eternal thing. Get ready, yo. I'm just going to label this what you've been asking for you get, okay? <laughs> and don't be backing up. <laughs> Take a step back so you can see all the blessings coming in, okay? Because, sis, you're going to have your mind blown. Didn't spirit say that? Mind blown, okay? Like never been in the presence of a king before? Oh, you're going to taste that. You're going to feel that. You're going to hear that. You're going to see that. <laughs> you're going to smell that. Spirit keep talking about all the senses. Yeah, I want you to embrace this entirety, okay? For the kings who've never, you know... Because, you know, when you see a message like this, sometimes cross watchers watch. So if you're a masculine looking for divine feminine, want to see what's going on in their head. All right. Then let me tell you, like, you know, vice versa. If you've never been in the presence of a queen before, for real, you know, you gonna know what that look like. All them senses smell like, <laughs> feel like. OK, spirit say it's time. Man should not be alone. Woman should not be alone. And there's some healing things that are going to take place between the two of you that only the two of you could bring about for each other. And it's not putting your healing or parts of it in somebody else's hand. It's just spirit being able to, to usher unto you another level and depth of love that you get to experience, not in the intangible where I trust spirit and love spirit and feel that love from spirit. But as, as tangible as I can feel this cuddly sweater up on me, honey, if the divine masculine king was in here, would I have to wear it? No, because <laughs> I'd be cloaked in something else. You understand? All right. So it's spirit's way of saying, yeah, it's nice that you bask out here in the spirit, but I do realize that I've created a human of you and it's no good for you to be alone. So don't be running from the blessings because it's like slapping source in the face. Yeah. And the desires of your heart that you've been laboring for that, that for some of you, you thought was over. Yeah. I'm enjoying the contentment of where I am in spirit. So I won't, I won't linger about the things that I feel like I still don't have because I've learned gratefulness and spirit for that is saying, oh, I adore you. Let me bless you with all the things that you've always desired. Now that you're, you're in a healing space where you're able to, to contain and, and maneuver and bring these things in. Before we go, bottom of the deck, listen deeply is still there. Hear what the divine masculine is saying, feminine. There's something in that healing. You're healing his heart. As your hands are upon his shoulder, he's creating that bravery and strength that you need to continue to go into. It's all in the listening deeply, which for a lot of you is going to begin in your inter, in your inner self. Remember, we keep talking about that frequency that the, that the feminine energy is emitting so that the, the masculine has something to, to tap into, to find where she at. Yeah which means you have to be pouring into yourself as he's pouring into himself. And then he's able to listen and pick up on the frequency of where you are. And he will come to you and he will be learning what it's like to be in the presence of a queen. And you will be learning what it is to be in the presence of a king. Cause neither of you in this connection that I'm picking up on, neither of you have experienced the truth and unconditional love, nor the truth in what a counterpart can actually be, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually as well. We have encounters with people that feed our ego and the physical. We have people that we might cling on as far as emotionally become codependent on. And we have people that on a spiritual level, you might be on the same spiritual level. It might not be a good level, <laughs> but we all spirit being so you somewhere. Y'all both could be in brokenness and you think that you got so much in common because brokenness begat brokenness. You see what I'm saying? Iron sharpens iron. You see what I'm saying? Spirit is saying, in this encounter, I've got the two of you in a place where individually you put in your own work, but together there is such a masterpiece and glow because you've none experienced having all three of those areas of protection and providing for and care and love on all levels that it's possible in this human experience, tying and merging it with the spirit of who you are, your purpose and mission in this life, and someone being able to hold that space for you the entire time 
on all those levels and you being healed enough to do the same for them. This interaction, this love is not one like that friendship and union card where it's a little bit of light to seep through. It's like the new moon where we're we're completely engaged here. Remember that cycle we talked about? If you don't, go back and watch, y'all. What the real cycle of life is supposed to look like. We did that in a Moonology, uh, a Moonology Monday reading, maybe two weeks ago, possibly. So go maybe two videos back or so or three and see about that cycle of how life should be. It's not the up, down, up, down, up, down that we've been taught to believe is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let y'all go now. Um, that's it. That's it. That's the Divine Feminine Reading to Masculine. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, next video will be the Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine or what Divine Masculine wants to say to themselves or what Spirit has to say. Um, I thank y'all for tuning in and watching this <laughs> ucky, icky, icky lighting um, from this laptop computer. Um, and hopefully my phone comes back and gets itself together, this cord and everything. Okay. So y'all be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Remember in all the seeking to first seek yourself. I'm your girl, Ashes Rebirth. Peace out. Ashe.